Hey guys, so, um, I just thought I'd, like, make this unboxing video about the, uh, laptop that I just got. It's called the, uh, Lenovo P51 ThinkPad. Um, basically, if you are somebody who is, like, a developer and you're looking for a good laptop to get, um, that's kind of, like, mid-range price, um, I would definitely recommend getting this. The laptop itself, um, it basically starts at um, around $1,340.10. But the thing is, um, if you, it really depends on, the, you know, the price is really going to vary depending on what kind of stuff you get in it. Like, depending on how many hard drives you're getting in it, how much RAM you're getting, um, things like that. So that's definitely going to affect the price of it. Um, but I would say, like, the one I bought, like, I got a lot of stuff in mine, and, like, it was, I don't, it was around, it was, like, a little bit higher than that, so, that might give you a little bit of an idea. It's somewhere in, like, the $1,400 range, probably. Now, there definitely are more powerful laptops that you can get, um, especially in, like, the Lenovo product family there's also something called the I think it's like the P71 series or something um, that one's a lot better because it just has a much better graphics card in it but the thing is like if you want to get something like that it's definitely gonna cost you it's, it's I think that one costs that's more in like the $3,000 range so this is kind of more like a bang for your buck laptop and the thing is with this laptop um, it's it's marketed as essentially a laptop that's specifically made for like rendering and you know CAD and all that kind of stuff so if you're like specifically going to be using this for like uh, things like Maya and you know any kind of like high-end software like that then this is definitely the laptop that you want to get. Now, some websites, um, y you can even find this website, or this laptop on some websites, and, you know, they might, some have even said that, you know, this is, like, a good laptop to get for, like, even more than just, um, you know, development tools. Uh, they said that it would also be a good laptop for gaming, but that that's not exactly the case, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So... That you might be able to actually get it with uh, something else in it, but the graphics card that I got in mine was, I, I believe this is what comes in it, uh, the uh, NVIDIA Quadro M1200M. Um, basically, the M1200M is the same thing as an M1200. Um, the, only, the only reason they add that M at the end, it just, all that means is that this is the mobile version. Um, because it's in a laptop. Now, this would be a, this is a good graphics card, um, especially for rendering and everything. It's, it's really gonna make all that pretty smooth. Um, but the thing is, it's, it's not exactly the best graphics card you can still get for rendering. Um, there is something better than that, uh, which would be the NVIDIA Quadro P series. If you get any of those, those are, like, probably the absolute best um, graphics cards that you can get, at least for rendering that is. And the thing is, uh, with the NVIDIA Quadro, I, w I w just wanted to say that, like, basically the order, um, the best would be the NVIDIA Quadro P series, the mid-range would be the NVIDIA Quadro M series, which, you know, the M1200, the M4000, um, things like that, and then, from my knowledge, the worst one you can actually get is the uh, the K series. Any of the NVIDIA Quadro Ks are considered the lowest end for rendering. But with that being said, they're still better than anything in the N NVIDIA GeForce series because the GeForce graphics cards, they're only meant for uh, gaming. Uh, they're specifically optimized for gaming and they're not really meant to be used for rendering. Although, if you do buy one, you'll most likely still be able to render everything. It's just that, like, you might, somewhere down the road, 
uh, if you're trying to render something like really big, you probably would run into like some kind of a problem uh, with rendering and it just might take a really long time or something like that compared to using something like the NVIDIA Quadro series, which, you know, specifically made for rendering. And also, um, for the flip side, um, the NVIDIA Quadro series, while it's great for rendering, it's not optimized for gaming. So, you know, a lot of the higher-end games um, that require, like, higher graphics cards and everything, uh, that, that will not run very well on a Quadro. The thing with gaming, though, is that, like, I just got this thing, and I already tried, like, playing some games on it just out of curiosity to see, you know, how they would run. And out of the games that I did play, like I, uh, let's see, I played the Sonic Generations demo, uh, Yeast Origin, and also Lost Planet, and they all pretty much ran fine. Um, so it really depends on how, what the game requires for the graphics that is really going to be the determining factor for you. Um, and then of course I even tried the, uh, the Evil Within 2 demo. And surprisingly, it actually did run on it, um, on this exact laptop. So, you know, it really depends on the game. But the thing is, when I was running the Evil Within 2, um, it actually, I would say, I would describe the performance, it was okay. You know, it, it wasn't great. It's, it wasn't like something butter smooth that you would have seen like in a YouTube video or something of somebody, you know, maximizing the settings. Um, it was just okay. It, it, there, it wasn't exactly, it wasn't choppy or anything. Like on my other computer, the, the, I tried playing Lost Planet on that and the frame rate was extremely choppy. It's almost unplayable because it's just a, it has a crappy graphics card in it. But on this, it was okay. You know, it wasn't exactly great, but it was all right. It, it'll get you enough to play the game. Also, I wanted to uh, see with this laptop uh, how it would handle, like, you know, other development programs such as, like, GIMP and all that. A past problem that I've had um, in GIMP is, you know, if you try to create an extremely large file size um, and you use, you increase the brush size, uh, it was, there was a glitch I was having where it, it would take you know, it would take a really long time, like a stupid amount of time for the brush to actually, like, you do your stroke. Um, and that wasn't the case on this computer, you know, it, it's really proven to be a great laptop so far. Um, so that's why I'd highly recommend it. You know, as for the hardware itself, um, you really can get a lot of stuff in this. Um, like, the one I have, it has a fingerprint scanner. Um, a color sensor for things like a true to print look on your screen. You can also uh, get it with an SSD. So, you know, you can pretty much get whatever you want in this thing. Um, and the way I ordered it, I custom ordered it um, from the Lenovo website and I custom built it on there. So, that was how I got it because I, all the stuff I needed, that was the only way that I was going to be able to get everything I needed in it. Um, because if you look on a lot of websites for this laptop, um, it doesn't have like the exact components that you might be looking for. So that's why I'd really recommend uh, custom building it yourself on the Lenovo website. You know, as for the look of the thing, I really like it. Um, I think it's a great looking laptop too. It's, it's, it's a nice size and it's really not too heavy. So yeah, overall, it's a, it's a really solid laptop. I'd highly recommend it. I'll definitely be sure to put a link in the description of the laptop so you can see it for yourself. And you know, if you want to buy it, you can order it yourself. Also, uh, I just wanted to say that like pretty much everything I learned about uh, the graphics cards and everything, it was all straight from the mouths of the Nvidia employees themselves about you know what kind of stuff I could actually run on like the Quadro versus the GeForce and I'm really glad that I did call them because they really know what they're talking about I mean they have probably some of the best tech support that I've ever talked to um, and that was, was with more than one person that I talked to so that they all really know what they're talking about over there at NVIDIA 
also if, if you're somebody who like reads a lot of reviews and everything um you should definitely look up reviews on this laptop because lenovo laptops are probably some of the highest rated laptops and computers that you can get so that that's definitely a reassuring factor at least uh, to at least know that you know you can't always go by reviews but it certainly helps when you're deciding in like a, what seems like a sea of computers that all seem the same uh, that at least you can feel good about that that you bought something that was uh, has high reviews so yeah I hope this video helps at least somebody out out there so that that's really what I why I wanted to talk about it and make this video because I know how hard it was deciding all this on my own so if I could uh, make somebody else's life easier that would definitely be good so I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and I'll definitely have some more coming up soon so take care guys.